Hi, welcome back to Veganized by Veli. Today I'll be showing you how I make apple pie when I'm craving apple pie, but not really the full work that goes into making a homemade one. The approximate measurements for this recipe will be in the description box below. The first step, of course, is to prep the apples. I've washed them and now I'm peeling them. As you can see, I've peeled the apples. I'm coring them to the best of my ability with paring knife, taking out the seeds, taking out any blemishes, any hard parts. And the next step after this is to slice the apples. But first I prep all the apples. In this case I have three apples like I said before. And I just try to get them pretty much clean so that they're ready for the next step. I am now moving on to slicing the apples and I'll throw them into the bowl as I get them sliced. The slices shouldn't be too thick or too thin. Now that I'm done slicing the apples, I'm going to squeeze in the juice of half a lemon, making sure to remove any seeds that fall in. Give them a good toss. Sprinkle on some sugar and cinnamon and then toss again. Brown sugar would definitely be better in this recipe, but I didn't have any, so I used what I had on hand. Alrighty, now we're gonna roll into the next part of the recipe. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Alright, so obviously I struggled opening this package of crescent rolls. Um, it's not one of my strengths, uh, but I did my best. So I'm opening this up. And I'm being careful when I'm separating the layers to not break the perforations that are there. So... I'll use the perforations as a guide for where I should cut my um, my rolls, but I will be very careful as to not separate the rolls from each other. So here you see that I take a piece of four crescent rolls and I'm kind of pushing in the perforations so that they become more like one piece instead of four separate pieces. Next, I'm going to use oat flour or whatever flour you have and a rolling pin to flatten out this piece and bring it from four pieces more to be closer to one whole piece. Mm -hmm. 
I am now going to line my small baking tray with parchment paper and this first piece that I rolled out I'm going to put it on top. If you wish you can definitely roll both sections that you'll need at the same time or one first and then the next but what I did is first I rolled then I filled the rolls or the dough and then I went back and rolled the top part of this faux apple pie. Alright, now you see me spreading some unsalted earth balance butter. I think this step is definitely optional. You don't have to do it. I don't think it impacts the flavor much. But I did it and it tasted good. But I definitely think it's not essential. If you don't have this, feel free to skip it. Alright, so check this out. Then I sprinkle a little more sugar. How much? I don't know. A little. Use your common sense. Use your sense. Or use your lack of common sense. Or just guess. Throw some sugar. Don't go crazy. Give that cinnamon a shake. Bring the sliced homies over and lay them out on the dough. Now I take the next section of dough and roll it and flatten it to make it into one piece. And this will be the top of the apple pie. Carefully peel it off and bring it over to cover the apples and then you're going to shape your in this case rectangular apple pie and seal the seams it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be beautiful it's still gonna taste delicious I actually changed my mind in the middle of this and I decided to open it back up and sprinkle a little more sugar. And I didn't go too crazy with the sugar at any point. So actually the dessert was perfectly sweet, it wasn't overly sweet. But I decided as I was sealing the dough that I should add a little more sugar and I think this was the right way to go. I then take my knife and cut some holes just to act as vents while it's baking. Instead of brushing egg wash over the dough, I decided to just use oat milk. So I guess I made a milk wash and I brushed that on top of the dough. This helps the dough become more golden.
and then we bake this according to the package instructions 375 Fahrenheit for 11 to 13 minutes or until it's golden brown now the last step before consumption I made a quick glaze using powdered sugar and a tiny bit of oat milk and I just mixed the sugar and the milk until it was liquefied then I drizzled some on top of the apple pie Yum. There's a party in my tummy. So yummy, so yummy. And that's it. There you have it. It's crescent roll apple pie. It's delicious. It's nutritious. It's fulfilling. It's sweet. Cut it up. Eat it up. Make some tea with some milk or some ice cream a la mode, however you want. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.